is it possible using the existing nuclear technology to build a doomsday device that would eradicate human life on Earth? Theoretically, yes. Hey, everybody. Professor Davis here, ChemSurvival.com, the YouTube channel, ChemSurvival. And uh, today for Table Tuesday, I want to talk to you about, once again, nuclear weapons. But this time we're going to ask another question. And that question is this. Could you build a nuclear device that could end all human life on Earth? Is it possible using nuclear technology to create a doomsday weapon? Now, that was a question that was being asked in the 1950s, actually, when atom and H-bombs were really just being developed. And a very interesting roundtable conversation happened among four prominent nuclear physicists in 1950, and the transcript published in the Bulletin of Atomic Scientists in that year. I'll place a link to that transcript in the description below. Now, around that table, again, were four prominent physicists, but there's one in particular who's credited with coming up with an idea that is just outright diabolical, uh, and that's Leo Zillard. Now, during the conversation, these four begin by discussing some pretty mundane topics surrounding nuclear arms and the idea that, well, if there were an attack, how would we rearrange the population? How would we move survivors out of the site? When could we repopulate the site? Those sorts of things. But then the conversation turns to this idea of, could a nuclear weapon be devised that would ultimately end all human life on Earth? Now, first of all, we can't build a weapon large enough to crack the planet into pieces. That would be far too much energy required. There really just is, there's no meaningful way to build that large of a nuclear weapon. However, Leo Zillard came up with a different idea. So Zillard proposed that the nuclear fallout, which is generally regarded as sort of a nuisance side effect of a nuclear bomb, well, could that nuclear fallout actually be used as a radiological weapon? So if one could devise a way to build a bomb that created the most potent uh, fallout possible, that fallout could potentially spread, if it's a large enough bomb, around the entire globe right, and then descend to the ground as radioactive dust. And if that dust is radioactive enough, it could potentially expose every man, woman, and child on the Earth to a lethal dose of radiation. So let's take a look at Zillard's proposal and how he suggests that it's actually possible to create something like this from existing technologies or technologies that were rapidly being developed in the 1950s. So Zillard begins by, by saying the following. He says, all you have to do is pick a suitable element and arrange it so the element captures all the neutrons. Now he's referring to the release of neutrons during the explosion. Then you have a very dangerous situation. You see, when a fusion takes place in an H-bomb, uh, part of the source fuel is always tritium. And when tritium fuses to form helium, neutrons are released. And so there's a very high neutron flux during this explosion. Now, some of those neutrons may strike other, other nuclei and cause them to break in the process we know as fission. But in other cases, they're absorbed into the nucleus of those atoms, creating less stable isotopes. And what he suggested was if we use an element like cobalt, deliberately packing cobalt around a very powerful hydrogen bomb, that that cobalt-59, the only naturally occurring isotope of that element, could absorb neutrons to become cobalt-60. And cobalt-60 is a radioactive element, a radioactive isotope of cobalt with a half-life of about five years. So what that means is that it would take decades for all of this cobalt to radioactively decay, ultimately losing uh, an electron from the nucleus in a beta decay and becoming stable nickel-60. Now, in that decay process, not only a beta particle is released, it's also known that cobalt-60 releases two high-energy photons in response to reorganizations of the nucleus. And it's those high-energy photons that we know as gamma radiation. They're very penetrating and they're very dangerous to organisms. So what he's proposed is to make a bomb large enough to, to disperse radioactive cobalt-60 all the way around the planet so that we end up having the situation where everyone on Earth is exposed to lethal doses of radiation. And he did some calculations for this. He comes up with about 50 tons of neutrons necessary, which means you're going to have to use about 500 tons of heavy hydrogen. Now, that's about a thousand times larger than the Tsar Bomba, the largest hydrogen bomb ever detonated by humankind. So if you wanted to build a, a nuclear weapon of this size, uh, a weapon of this size dropped, for example, on the city of Philadelphia, 
would actually be immediately fatal to people as far away as Washington, D.C. and New York City. So we're talking about an utterly enormous nuclear explosion. Uh, one of the other uh, roundtable participants, I think, likens that to Krakatoa, the largest natural explosion ever witnessed by humankind. Uh, but if that were accomplished, one could expect that a bomb like that, doped with a sufficient amount of cobalt-59, would eventually spread a layer of radioactive cobalt-60 all the way around the planet, potentially uh, ending the lives of every single man, woman, and child on the planet. So is it possible, using nuclear technology, existing nuclear technology, to build a doomsday device that would eradicate human life on Earth? Theoretically, yes, it's absolutely possible to do this using an extraordinarily large hydrogen bomb that has been salted as they say, with cobalt-59 to produce a radioactive isotope that would spread around the world. As always, everybody, don't forget to drop a comment below, like, share, and subscribe. I'm Professor Davis from ChemSurvival.com, YouTube channel ChemSurvival. See you next time.